Okay, so I have a problem. Air conditioner is on flat out. I'm watching YouTube full screen HD. And my poor laptop is hovering around 80 degrees. Temperature in here is about 23. I think this thermometer reads a bit high. But all I'm doing is watching YouTube, nothing else. CPU usage is 42% and we're up at 80 degrees and you can see it's been 95, 94. The screen gets all jittery, it's no good. So, I don't know what's going on. We're going to have to fix it. I've redone the thermal paste three or four times. I've tried a little bit, I've tried too much, I've tried not enough. I've Tried different types, cheap stuff, expensive stuff. I think this laptop is just a bit shit. Okay, so I've pulled the whole thing apart and bought the important bits out here to work out what's going on. From what I can work out, this is where the motherboard usually lives. Here. And you can see that there's vents here, right over the top of the processor and the GPU, but there's no vent here for the fan to suck in any air. This is a power port, and it's got nowhere to suck any air in, I don't know. The, the keyboard sits right on top of that. So how's it supposed to move any air, this thing? Coupled with when the screen opens, it blocks this back vent as well. Um, I think it's just really poorly designed, to be honest, but I don't know, maybe it's some software thing. Also, it's got this open slot here where when that spins, uh, the air can come through these vents, but uh, I feel like it could bypass that. I don't know if it's a safety thing to stop fluff catching on fire or what, but I don't know. I'm going to block it up, see what happens. First I'll show you my thermal paste job. Alright, here we go. Oh, the fan connector. So I don't know, was that too much or... Or what? Maybe maybe it still is a bit too much. I, I tried to put as little on as possible before. Um, this one looks a little bit off centre. Maybe I didn't hook it up right. It looks like I've pulled the one of the connectors fair off the board there. That's no good. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix that or not. I might be able to solder it back on. But. Uh, no, it's taken a beating this. Taking a beating this laptop. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Let's see about that. Mm, it's pretty close. Let's do some drilling. Where's my shitty drill? There we go. Perfect. Let's see how it went. So that lives there. <clears throat> oh, 
pretty close. Still better than nothing, hey. Yeah, that'll work heaps better. All right. Now let's see if I can do this turtle paste any good. Let's have another look there. That was um, this one was ectotherm. See, this one doesn't have anything on it. I don't know why that one. I don't really know what. Um, that one says AMD, so it's the GPU. That one's a CPU. This one, I don't know. Something. But it doesn't get covered with a heatsink. So, I'm going to clean all this off. Um, <clears throat> this is what I used that time. But, I don't reckon it was any good. It seems too runny and... I've also got this stuff, and on paper, it's got a better um, thermal conductivity, nano diamond thermal compact. So I'm going to give this one a go. See what happens. I'll clean all this off. Got a bit of perspex here because I don't know how much I'm supposed to put on, but perfect size. What I'm going to do is practice. Put a little blob on. Let's see if it's enough. So that's just one little blob in the middle. And we'll put that on and see how far it spreads out. See that's certainly spread out over the whole thing. I don't know, maybe I need less than that. Certainly, certainly need less than that. Covered the whole thing. Well, maybe that was a perfect amount. Anyway, I know it's enough, so just stick with that amount. Oh, that broken pin. Let's see if we can fix that. Where'd the fan go? So far, not real good. <laughs> okay, I can't clean the bloody solder out even with the solder sucker, so we're going to attack it with a drill again. So I need a one mil hole. Lovely. What do we got here? One millimeter. <clears throat> this is a piece of shit. This should fit back in there. So far, half all right. Sort of, not really, kind of. I don't know. Let's see what happens. And then I'm just going to solder the sides on. Right, put the thermal paste on.
Take out the screws. Should be good to go. Okay, fully back to together. Will it work? Or will it go boom? Oh god. Spinning the thing in, that's the go. What have we got? 60 degrees. Make it full screen. Well, it hasn't shot up like it did before. make the CPU 100%. It's still up there. I don't know. Maybe can, someone can tell me what I'm doing wrong. 